Welcome to my second channel. On my main channel, I have a video where I used custom designed circuit boards as LED strips. I used these to help me make an infinity mirror cube. In this video, I will be discussing the design concept of the board. My main purpose for designing this board was to have a way for using custom spacing of LEDs, potentially getting them closer together than any available LED strips. These are closer together than most strips, but not all strips. I had them made in a panel of 12 boards since the cube needed 12 strips. This panel can be easily separated into individual boards. The spacing of the LEDs is kind of arbitrary. I wanted to have 8 LEDs per strip, but within about 3 inches. I also wanted the LED side to have only the LEDs, so I designed this to have the capacitors and wire connections on the back side of the board. The two power connections of each LED has vias going through to the back side of the board. The power traces are all on the back. The LED's data input and output traces stay mainly on the front side of the board. The output of one LED goes to the input of the next one. At the top of the strip in the middle is a via with a trace going to the first LED data input. At the bottom in the middle is a via that goes to the last LED data output. All of the vias are positioned to be hidden by the LEDs, although this isn't actually necessary. The power traces on the back take up most of the board. The left half goes up to the negative solder point. The right half goes up to the positive solder point. The center solder point up here is the data input for the board, with arrows pointing in the direction of the data flow. The via for the data trace from the front is right below this. Each of the capacitor solder points connects to one of the power traces. At the bottom of the board, you can see the three solder points similar to the top. Again, the data solder point has arrows showing the direction of the data flow. Down the middle of the board, between the capacitors, you can see these zigzag lines that look like a circuit trace. But it's not a trace though. It's actually the space between the two power traces. I wanted the power traces to be extra wide. In my final cube project, there were a few times that I needed a bypass wire to get the data signal to pass backwards through the board. For my next design update of this board, I will just make the power traces a little bit narrower and shift it towards one side more, giving me room to add a data bypass trace along one edge of the board. When I was making this design, I decided to make it so that I could stack them end to end to make a longer strip and keep the LED spacing the same. One thing that I did not think about was making so that they could be stacked side by side, but my next design of these boards will. As they are right now, the LEDs would be about one millimeter closer when side by side. That's about it for this video. If you have any other questions about this board design, or if you have any ideas what these custom LED board strips could be used for, please leave a comment and share your thoughts. Thanks for watching.